we need to prepare a presentation. Where do we start? Think about this. Where, where do you start when you create a presentation, when you need to prepare a presentation? Now, I can tell you, based on my experience, that a lot of people, they jump straight on PowerPoint. So they open PowerPoint or any other presentation tool and start putting together some slides. And of course, that's not the right approach. If we are lucky, some people say that they start with the story. So they say, okay, no, I don't jump straight on PowerPoint. I first think about the story, which is great. It's much better than jumping straight on PowerPoint. But I can tell you that and most people don't do this. There is something else to do first. First, we need to start with the audience. Now, if you, when you are preparing a presentation, think about this. It's their presentation, not yours. Now, a presentation is like a present. When you give someone a present, it's their present, not yours. So you need to make sure that you know that person so that you can buy something that they like, right? A presentation is very similar. When you give people a presentation, it's their presentation, not yours. So you need to make sure that you know your audience before you begin creating your presentation. And how do you do that? Well, the very first thing we do when we work with our clients, when we have them with presentation, is we take them through what we call the ABC of preparation. ABC of preparation. ABC stands for audience, burning needs, context. So you need to ask yourself some questions about your audience, their needs, and the context, the presentation context in general, so that you're ready to begin preparing their presentation. When, they, when, when clients come to us and they want us to help them with their presentations and we ask them some questions about their audience, their needs, and the context, and they don't know anything about it, we politely suggest that they go back, do their homework, answer the questions, and then come back to us. Because otherwise, it's very difficult to create something that suits that particular audience. So, what kind of questions? And this is one of the practical ideas that I want to give you today that you can apply to your very next presentation. Before your very next presentation, ask yourself these questions. Questions like, okay, who is your audience? Who are the key people in your audience? What companies do they work for? What, what are the job titles? If you don't know, can you search on LinkedIn, for example? Try to find out as much as possible about your audience so that you can create something that works for them. Then burning needs. Okay, what do they need? What do they expect from your presentation? What challenges do they have? How do those challenges relate to your activities? What concern, do they have any concerns about your activities? What concerns do they have? See, burning needs. And then context. Context is things like, okay, at what time of day will you be speaking? Will it be, if it's a conference, will anybody be speaking before or after you? If that's the case, what would they be talking about? Maybe there are some connections to your topic. In what kind of room? Will you have a loudspeaker or a projector or a screen. If you have a screen, a projector, what kind of slide format uh, works better? Four by three, 16 by nine. Will you have a flip chart? Will you have a whiteboard if you need it? Will you have a, can you use a microphone? Can you show videos? All these kind of technical questions. And here's the thing. The, the objective here is not to have all the answers. But would you agree that even if you have some answers and even if you have an idea of who your audience is, what they need and what they expect from your presentation and what the presentation context is in general, then would you agree that you would be 10 times better prepared than 99% of business professionals who either jump straight on PowerPoint or if we are lucky, start thinking about the story. But they, if they do that, they would be creating then a story without having the audience at the center, which is a mistake, okay? So that's the very first thing. It's their presentation, not yours. 